Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding and Creating. Uh, today we're going to look at a really fun way to make digital animations using sumo.app slash pixel slash en. Here's the web address. I'll have that linked in Schoology so you can click directly on it. Now, now one of our last lessons, we looked at a different Sumo app, uh, this one called uh, Sumo Paint. You remember how we did that one? Now we're looking at this one called Pixel, so it's kind of fun. You're presented with this grid, and you can click on these um, squares and fill them in using this pen tool. Now, I would like to make an animation that has a little bit more detail to it. So in the upper right-hand corner, there's this grid control, and I can slide this over and choose to make a 32 by 32 grid, and it gives me much many more squares that are smaller, and that'll let me make a re uh, drawing that has a little bit more resolution. So watch what happens. I'll draw a shape here. I'll make a little stick person, and I can give him a little smile, maybe some eyes. Now there's a neat tool here called Symmetry that will help you draw shapes that are symmetrical. So you can see how you've got um, uh, a little character that has um, different body parts. I can give them little feet like that. Maybe make them go out here with some arms. So you can see here's my little character. If you make mistakes, here's the eraser tool. So if I wanted to shorten his arms a little bit, I could do that by using the eraser tool. Um, and then when you're ready to make the next frame, you can click this plus and it will copy what was just created. Maybe I could have them come down a little bit, then make a new frame, and then maybe uh, could have his legs sort of change positions a little bit. Maybe make them uh, sort of go outwards like this and his feet come out. Maybe. Uh, not sure how that one, that leg is looking. I'm going to use my eraser tool. Have his toe going up. There we go. And maybe have his arms sort of go out like this. Use my eraser tool. Click a little bit like that. And then I could duplicate this uh, frame. Maybe make it go up a little bit, duplicate that one frame, and then maybe make his mouth say, oh, and duplicate that, move it up a little bit. Now, up here is the play button, so I can see how it works. So you can see how he's jumping up and down on the uh, ground. Okay, now if you want to make a, a much more interesting uh, project, you can go up here to where it says colors, and you can choose different colors. Uh, it's kind of nice, you've got these little swatches over here, so let's say I want to give him a blue shirt, so I could click on that color, all right, and I could give him this sort of blue colored shirt, all right, and maybe uh, define that a little bit. Now, I'd have to go back and change these other frames if I wanted it to stay on there, but if you're going to use that color again, if you click right here on this white circle that appeared, then it, it sort of gives you a, a palette of colors that you use. So if you decide you're going to use this red color, if you click on the blue, it just sort of gives you another one, whatever colors you're working on. But it's kind of nice. You can toggle between maybe the different colors in your animation. So that's kind of convenient. Down here at the bottom, if you go to a particular frame, so let's say I decided not to have this frame where his shirt is blue, if that's selected, if I pull down and let go, it erases uh, the particular frame that I was on. So you can see that there's no longer that frame where it was blue. So if you pull down, it erases that frame. Uh, right here it says 10 frames per second. If I changed it to 5 FF, FPS, which is frames per second, it'll go half the speed. So you can tell he's jumping a little bit slower. So you can control that. Um, in the upper right, this little icon here is kind of interesting. You can click that and you can see the code that is controlling this, um, this, this animation. So it's kind of neat if you want to see what the computer code looks like. When you're finished, you can go up here to File, and you can say Export. 
and the format that you want is an animated GIF and you can give it a title. You can save that and that's what you can you, you can uh, share when you click the link to share your work. You can share that little animated GIF file. So have really good time creating animations using the uh, Sumo Pixel app. Um, I hope you have fun and I cannot wait to see what you create. See you next time.